After a warm welcome at the White House and a lavish state dinner Thursday. Two great friends, two great nations, and two great powers. Cheers. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi met with business leaders at the White House Friday. And so our partnership between India and the United States will go a long way, in my view, to define what the 21st century looks like. And our technology, technological cooperation, will be a big part of defining our partnership. The U.S. is using the trip to draw India closer militarily and economically. Modi has used the trip to highlight investment in India. The two countries used the prime minister's visit to announce an easing of visa restrictions for skilled Indians seeking employment in the U.S. and the resolution of six long-standing trade disputes lifting tariffs on steel, aluminum, chickpeas, and other goods. Today, America is India's biggest trade partner. We have decided to resolve long pending trade related issues and make a new beginning. Before meeting with Biden, Modi met with SpaceX, Tesla and Twitter CEO Elon Musk in New York. He is pushing us to make significant investments uh, in India, which uh, it is something that we, we intend to do. Um, and we're just trying to figure out the right timing. And tech CEOs in Washington. We will be announcing soon a new innovation center in India. Uh, with applied materials, we'll also bring global partners into this new innovation center. A pair of important deals were announced while Modi was here in Washington. The first would see General Electric fighter jet engines manufactured in India. The second would allow India to purchase armed drones from a U.S. manufacturer. These are technologies not generally shared with non-allies. The multi-billion dollar deals are designed to reduce India's reliance on Russian arms. Jim Spellman, CGTN, Washington.